It does remind me of something, though. I, I can't quite put my finger well, on it. Well, there is an old story about human evolution, which you might have heard. The story's discredited now, but it used to be common. It claimed that humans were divided into different races, almost like different species. The races were different because they had different origins, different lines of evolution. And their take on human evolution was that some races evolved further than others. You can imagine which ones evolved all the way right? And then you can imagine which ones didn't evolve very far at all. And so it was. Look, this was a justification of the Holocaust. It wasn't just a way of being mean. It was a way of the Germans ridding the human race, i.e. the Germans, of all the bad genes that were causing Germans to do bad things. That is, the Jews and the Gypsies and black Africans and anyone else who hadn't evolved this far. And this stuff was part of the normal scientific literature. This was not a couple nutcases at the fringes of science just writing popular articles and stirring up the masses, by and large, what I'm saying was widely believed. It was part of your biological education. I always thought it was strange the way people try to distinguish the races. Usually they start sorting by color, don't they? So they come up with white, black, sometimes yellow, maybe red. But it turns out that's never enough. Because how can tall, blonde Swedes and short, dark Italians be in the same race? So they keep subdividing and inventing new races. Well, that's true. And you're allowed to divide humans into racial groups if you want, John. You can have four, five, ten, twenty. You can have as many as you like. It's arbitrary. But then, if you look at these groups genetically, if you try to compare their DNA, you discover that the differences between them are tiny. The differences inside each group are much larger. It's like trying to compare football teams, if you know what I mean. So, wait, here's Dr. Hank Greeley. He's a law professor at Stanford University, and he's associated with genetic research projects. Most genetic variation in humans occurs within groups and not between groups. If you think about the National Football League, the average height and weight of the San Francisco 49ers team probably is very similar to the average height and weight of the Dallas Cowboys team. Within each of those teams, though, you'll go from a defensive lineman at six foot ten, three hundred thirty pounds, to a place kicker at five foot four, one hundred and forty. The variation within the team is enormous. The average variation between the teams is quite small. The same is true of human genetics. <laughs> 